dear students welcome to part 6 of chapter 3 today i will be teaching you a very important concept related to again intragenic that is interallelic expression the third first we studied codominance incomplete dominance today let us see about multiple allelism so what is multiple allelism as the name suggest multiple means many alleles means alleles pair of genes so there are more than two alternative forms of a gene there are more than two alternative two pairs of gene where in a population where are they situated on the same locus or on the chromosomes or its homologs what are they responsible for these two or more alleles are responsible for a particular phenotype or a character multiple alleles may arise due to mutations of a gene in the wild type mutation if is done in the wild type it causes different combinations of the allelic pair now this combination may show dominant recessive relationship or they may show codominance relationship i will explain you every concept in detail in the next slide usually wild types are dominant over the mutant type multiple alleles do not undergo crossing over let us see multiple alleles for blood group abo blood group now there are different types of blood group system we are considering here the example of abo blood group system there are three alleles for abo blood group these alleles are called as isoagglutinogenes they are represented by ia ib or i0 ia and ib are dominants i0 or also written as small i it is the recessive variety so ia with i a it forms a homozygous condition ia and small i forms a heterozygous condition similarly ib ib forms homozygous condition ib small i forms a heterozygous condition ia ib they show codominance and small i small i is the recessive condition you can also write this as i0 i0 so can you see for one character blood group for one phenotype blood group there are so many different combinations of alleles found on the chromosomes in a population when we are saying multiple alleles we are talking about a population every individual in the population has a different type of allele for her blood group you can see this in your family also every person in our family have different blood groups means we are having different allelic pairs or isoagglutinogenes let us see in detail let us see the different genotype combinations and the phenotypic combinations of the blood group so if you are having homozygous ia or heterozygous ia blood group of the person will be a if homozygous ib or heterozygous ib the blood group will be b if you are having ia ib it is acting as a codominant condition and then your blood group will be ab if you have recessive homozygous condition small i small i you can also represent it as i0 i0 the blood group becomes o let us see how and why these blood groups are occurring like this you can see in the picture this is picture of carl landsteiner he was a physician in 19th century he was treating number of soldiers in a hospital and he tried to transfer blood from one normal person to a patient a wounded soldier he found that he was successful sometime but sometimes the person died the recipient died and so he carried out number of experiments and tried to see and he found it that there are different blood groups present in individual carl landsteiner his students adriano sterli and alfred von de castello further gave us the ab blood group later one more of his student wiener he proposed the rh system but today we are going to talk only about the abo blood group system and he was awarded a nobel prize for his work in physiology and medicine in 1930 let us see what he did he founded that there are four types of people if the person this is the blood rbc red blood cell of a person he saw that if a person has antigen a i am repeating again if the person is having antigen a on the rbc what is this rbc on the plasma membrane of the rbc and if he has 
antibody B in the plasma. Antibodies are represented by usually small alphabets. So, what which antibody is present? I'll just label first time. This is the antibody. And which is the antigen? It is represented by capital alphabet. So, this is the antigen. Then the person's blood is supposed to be A blood group. Now, a second case, this was the first person he observed. Second person he observed that on the plasma membrane of the RBC, this person, he had another type of antigen. Let us show it with another color. Suppose this person had another antigen and this antigen was B antigen. Then he called that as he has B antigen, we'll call this blood group as B blood group. And he found that in the plasma of this person, he had antibody A. Okay. He studied third person. In the third person, he saw that on this person, he had on the RBC, plasma membrane of the RBC, two types of antigens were formed. Some were A antigens and he also found that some antigens were B. So, both type of antigens were present, antigen A and antigen B. So, he said that this person's blood group will be AB. To his surprise, he saw that in the plasma of this person, there were no antibodies. Antibodies were absent. What were absent in this first uh, third person? Antibodies were absent. He studied a fourth case and he saw that in this fourth person, the RBC, there were no antigens. Antigens were absent. And both the antibodies A and B were present in the plasma. So, he called this as zero blood group. Zero means absence of antigen. And today we call this blood group as O blood group. And in this way, Carl Lindstein, uh, Landstina proposed that there are three uh, there are four types of blood groups, A, B, A, B and O. I hope you followed this concept. Let us again revise it with the help of this chart. So, if a person's blood group is A, which antigen will he have? A. If a blood group is B, which antigen will he have on the plasma membrane? B antigen. If blood group is A, B, which antigens will he have? Both A and B. And if he has zero or O blood group, C antigens are absent on the plasma membrane of the RBC. Let us have a look on the antibodies in the plasma. Where are the antigens present? On the RBC plasma membrane. Where are the pl antibodies present? In the plasma of the blood of that person. So, person with blood group A, antigen A has antibody B. Yeah, of course, in this chart, it is given by capital letters, but usually it is shown by small alphabet. So, antibody B is present in the plasma. In blood group B, antigen A, antibody A is present. If a person's blood group is AB, he has no antibody in the plasma. If the person's blood group is O, he has both the antibodies present A and B. Okay, so this I hope you are clear now. Blood group with antigen A has antigen and blood group A has antigen A. Blood group B has antigen B. Blood group AB has both the antigen AB on the plasma membrane of the RBC and O do not have any antigen. Whereas in the plasma A has B antibody, B has A antibody, AB has no antibody and O has both the antibodies. Let us again look at the chart. So person with phenotype blood group I, what will be the genotype? Or the allelic pair, he will have either homozygous IAIA or heterozygous IA small i. Antigen is A. Antibody is not mentioned, but you know now antibody is B. He can transfer blood to A and AB and he can take from A and O. Person with blood group B has allele IB, IB, homozygous condition or heterozygous condition. His antigen is B. AB has allele as IAIB, he has both the antigens, he can take blood from, he can give blood to, he can take blood from everyone and he can give blood to AB. This is transfusion 2. So, A can give blood to A and AB, B can give blood to B and AB, AB can give blood only to AB and they can take, A can take from A and O, B can take from B and O, AB can take from everybody. Whereas O has genotype small i, small i. He, it doesn't has the person will not have any type of antigen. He will have all the type, both the type of antibodies in the plasma. And he can transfuse blood to all the type of people. So O is called as a universal donor. 
these are called as a universal donor and ab as it is able to receive blood from all the blood group ab is called as a universal recipient or acceptor so anyways we were interested in knowing about the genotypes you can see for one character one phenotype blood group there are different types of genotypes available in a population so this is multiple allele one more example of multiple allelism is in case of drosophila morgan had carried out his experiment on fruit fly fruit fly in marathi we call it as chilta or drosophila and in drosophila multiple alleles are seen for the shape of the wings you can see that if the genotype is vg plus then the drosophila has normal wings if the genotype is vigni vgni then they have nicked wings wings if they have vigno then the wings are notched if the genotype is vgst the wings are strapped wings and if they have only vg as a genotype the phenotype of the wings they are vestigial wings so here also in drosophila you can see there are many alleles which is responsible for one character and what is that one character or one phenotype here shape of the wing thus this is multiple allelism which is an example of what it is an it is a uh, uh, for example when he studied about blood group it was interaction between within a gene pair within a gene pair that is intragenic or inter allelic type of interactions so three types we studied codominance incomplete dominance and today we talk spoke about multiple alleles i hope you have understood remaining concepts we will study in the next video thank you